Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a follow-up to yesterday's Striker Bare Bones video. It is Striker Configured. Strange how that works, isn't it? So I, I really wanted to target, as I said yesterday, a couple of areas. Number one, recoil was pretty bad for the Striker Bare Bones. It was still controllable, but range. Range holds it back. So we're looking at recoil and range, and we're willing to give up in some other areas. Let's start with the FSS Priority Tactical tactical stock and right away we're going for that recoil at eight percent the gun kick 13.27 degrees per second isn't bad what i really wanted to do was get the horizontal below 10 degrees per second this does this all of these are composite numbers so they're the sum total of all the attachments we've put on it helps the mobility slightly and only impacts the ads speed at two percent or 221 milliseconds which is still outstanding and while we're here the damage doesn't change from bare bones 46 to the noggin that is quite a punch as is the upper torso at 39 36 for the lower torso and for the upper leg so obviously it's going to be to your benefit to aim high with a striker whether it's configured or not the socken zx grip and that goes right for the recoil with no downsides 10 percent on the gun kick seven percent on the horizontal and for the vertical the kimura ryn at 03 vertical grip again that attacks the recoil, uh, the gun kick at 14%, vertical at 12%. Those are significant numbers at a cost of horizontal recoil at 4%. 9.41 degrees per second is the final composite number for this configuration. The ADS speed is slightly impacted, but remember I did say we have some room in sprint to fire to control horizontal recoil and recoil overall. Sonic Suppressor S. We're starting to attack the ranges there. 5% isn't a lot, but you can see that we are up to 13.6 meters. Again, that's a composite. It costs a little bit on the recoil, which we didn't want to do, but 4% we're not going to cry over. And Sprint to Fire, only 3%, and that's 119 milliseconds. That's the final number for this configuration. The Striker Recon, a long barrel. Long gives us some extra range and significant extra range at 18% on the effective and minimum damage range. And a side bonus, 731 meters per second on the bullet velocity. So at these longer ranges, you'll be able to track people. That's 15%. That's pretty big. It hurts the accuracy of the hip fire and tactical. Those accuracies are still good. And there was no problem at all hip firing with this weapon. ADS movement speed, slightly impacted. It wasn't great to start with. It's not going to be great now, but it's going to be enough. And the sprint to fire speed, that's where we got to 119 milliseconds which is pretty good so let's take this configured striker onto the field of honor and see what it did for grandpa and see what it did to his friendly enemies we'll be playing free for all there's a bonus hard point game which is really a corker after the f4 pops its shoot on landing roll let's go see what happened revisiting yesterday's number Red is good. Highlighted red is good for the configure. 211.1 on the bullet velocity and 2.7 increase on the range. The recoil is more than handled. A little bit of hip fire problems. Movement speed's better. ADS movement speed essentially is the same. So we dropped in to Gay Paris. Now that guy with the RPG. He was a master of RPG gacking people. He gacked me so many times with that RPG. It was so frustrating. But uh, afterwards, I got on the line and gave him congratulations for doing that. Hey, stay around for that bonus game after the F4 pops its shoot. So this game, there he is, the RPG man. Man, I, I felt I had won the lottery every time I was able to gack that guy. Now, one of you guys asked me, why do I not check my six too often? Well, I pretty much know where I am on the map. I try to one-side the threats as much as possible. And if I have any question at all when I'm playing free-for-all, like right now, I know there's nobody behind me. Now, somebody could come in. If I have any question at all, I stop in a covered area and regain my situational awareness. And the fighter world, we call that the SA. There's Mr. RPG. 
Man, he obliterated my pixels that time. So did I notice... Oh, must have died. I know. Did I notice that the configuration helped much? Yeah, I, I actually, I really did. Looks like somebody else just got RPG'd, and there he is. Got him on the reload. It does. Um, the recoil wasn't horrible to start with, but I was a little concerned about the horizontal. And we handled that in the configuration. I didn't notice the aim down sight decrease nor the sprint to fire. So configured, the weapon improved. And that's one of the, significantly, and that's one of the few weapons so far, here's Mr. RPG, that I think needs a few attachments in order to be usable. Now, there are much better guns than the Striker out there. There's the Horus, the Superi, the Fennec, the M13, some of the other older weapons, too, are much better than the Striker, in my opinion. I, I really don't see a lot of reason to use this weapon other than to get the camos up. That guy tried to slide past, turn around. And Gak, old grandpa. Okay, so somebody shot me from behind that time. So my six was uncovered. And that guy's Elvis, the king. There's a little range shooting there, and I was hesitant to do that. But since I had controlled the recoil, I had 30 rounds. If it took all 30, I was going to use them. And again, now sometimes I do get shot in the back on spawn. People do camp the spawns. And it's kind of a 50-50, whether they're looking at you in the lips. Come on, get up there. All right, we'll take the stairs. Whether they're going to shoot you in the lips or shoot you in the back. So something interesting, too. I played four free-for-all games, and I came in second on two. I came in first on two. And even on this map, there's a guy that I came in second to on another map, Vista, he was talking about how he was getting suspended for cheating. And he said, yeah, I do cheat. <laughs> There's Mr. RPG. And another guy, I didn't say anything to him, but another guy was on there saying he was on his second account, that he had been banned for cheating and that he wasn't cheating anymore because he didn't want to get banned again and have to buy another account. Well, he wasn't playing too well at all so I, I guess uh, if you take away the cheats you take away the wins but the uh, the guy that said he was cheating and that he had been suspended several times several accounts said uh, if you watch one of my kill cams you'll understand why people report me well all I saw is Cronus use on it I mean <laughs> the RPG uh, all I saw was Cronus use and the same kind of Cronus use I see in almost every lobby I'm in. At least one or two people in this lobby. Well, another in addition to the guy that said he was using a Cronus. Oh, man, I should have ducked. Should have gone prone. But I can't go prone as fast as the Cronus users. They, they tend to go fast. Um, it's the same kind of extra speed, the same kind of elusiveness, the same kind of he can jump turn around keep the pipper right on you now i did come in first against him in in two of the lobbies and in one other lobby i played with him i came in second but he said he was using it the whole time and i i found it odd that they would really admit that um just something that was interesting i think that might have been mr rpg there so this game's pretty close to the end. The the Cronus guy is even really in the picture for the lead. At least one of the Cronus guys, let's put it that way. The other one, uh, he might have been come in second, but here's RPG. Gosh, he just hits me at the worst times. Like I said, I congratulated this guy after the game. He was pretty awesome the best use of the RPG in free-for-all that I've ever seen. Best and most frustrating. Now, yeah, replace his Betty with my Betty. My Betty's better. 
So I just need two more GAX, and this one's in the books. Cronus users or not, Mr. RPG is one of them. Like I said, the best I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. And there's the win. And there I am congratulating the guy on his uh, RPG usage. Making sure I'm connected to the channel. All right, the second game was Grow House. The, the guy that said he was using the Cronus is on this map too, I'm pretty sure. Although you never can tell these days how many people are. And of course, most of the time what's odd is that they very loudly deny it and they start gaslighting people. I've learned not to accuse. I might say, hey, there's uh, somebody with aftermarket steroids. And that usually chases them out of the lobby. They'll leave the lobby at that point. And then if I'm certain of it, what I'll do is later just block them. Because um, I guess I'm not the police force, but it's I just don't want to play with too many people with the Cronus. So this game has turned into looking for people camping in the back, this map. Almost nobody goes through the center. A few people do. I did find a few in the center for this game, and I pop up. He's not expecting anybody to come from behind. I like jumping off the map here and running back, seeing if I can run back on. It also gives you the opportunity to look for people where they're not looking for you. This game took on a pretty good tempo. And I still only had 30 rounds, so I thought 30 was enough. It was. We saw that the distance has already helped a couple of times. The almost 14 meters, or 13 to 14 meters, of effective damage range. Now, this poor guy was just trying to get on his Winnebago. Probably needs to caulk one of those rooftop attachments because it's leaking. Helps to have the wet paint perk on the black light flashlight. Of course, you have to give up something else, which to me is the tack mask. Here, I got caught in the slow motion, but the guy wasn't there. I don't, I don't understand why people would use that one in free for all unless they're somewhere close to it. And you know, one map I do miss in free for all is ship shipment they used to have that in free for all boy that was a slug fest this one is supposed to be a slug fest but it n never really turns into what was that guy doing again unless you hit high with the striker you're at a disadvantage yeah those were all head or upper upper torso shots There's somebody in there. Got him. He had gotten me before. So this is really a slow game. He's got the Renetti out. Because I don't want to get gacked while I'm reloading. Now I have time to go somewhere safe, reload, gain my situational awareness, and look for the guys camping in the back. Oh, that's unfortunate for... Whoa, what was that? Bad shooting. This is a place where a lot of people camp on this map. It's hard to dig out and then also laying down by that tree. If they have a good shot, they're going to be very difficult to dig out. There's somebody else's Betty. So I'm just looking for friends. Found one. Now, the Mosquito Drone is excellent on this map, as is the knife for that guy. There's always going to be a knifer. You don't have to launch the Mosquito Drone straight up. You can, you can launch it vertically as long as there's plenty of room for it to do its thing. There's the, the dual shotgun guy. 
And there he is again. Got to go renetting. The guy was dead. I didn't find anybody. And yeah, I get shot in the back. So yeah. The guy that asked me if I check my six. I do, but sometimes people can... Or I do sometimes, most of the time. I know where I am, but some people can slip into there, especially if they spawn behind you. Golly. And the guy stepped on the proximity mine. Betty got him, even if I couldn't. So like I said, the game's going kind of slow. We're only at 23 GAX with uh, a minute left, minute and a half. And I'm tied. I was ahead. I'm tied. That's you try to throw a knife at me. I'll take two kills for one death, especially when one of them's Elvis. Now the uh, hard point that's coming up afterward is on the streakless map, and that just opens you up. You don't have to worry about dying and giving up streaks, so you can sacrifice yourself to get the objective. Unless, of course, you're in team deathmatch. <sighs> So it's tied at 26 with time running out. I just need one guy here, and that ends up being the winner. Not a totally satisfying game, but like I said, there are better guns out there. My thoughts are Striker does not get a permanent slot for me, no permanent class, and uh, I enjoyed using it. I enjoy all the guns, but if I'm honest... Take a horse or a superior or a fennec or an M13, something like that around. If you liked it, please subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.
Mosquito deployed. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Landing UAV on station. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Friendly mosquito active.